Visa is one of my favorite shorts this week, uh, surprisingly. This is Brian Lewis of MMT Investing, and things just changed. So, uh, I was talking about Tesla in my last video, and why Tesla is a great short, because they have a ton of downside and a terrible balance sheet, but uh, they have very expensive put options, so... Shorting uh, with put options on Tesla is not a great deal at the moment, but uh, companies like Visa and MasterCard and PayPal that have excellent balance sheets, tons of cash, no debt, um, bulletproof stocks, but they're inside of the tech ETFs and they're inside of the S&P, so they're going to get dragged right down with everything else. Uh, on this next leg down, and insurance on these stocks is very, very cheap compared to Tesla. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at Tesla put options, you may want to go in and check the prices on Visa, MasterCard, PayPal put options. Uh, I mean, these are excellent stocks that in normal conditions would be super, super dumb to short, but in this uh, environment, where just huge credit contractions are just dragging all of the ETFs down. Uh, yeah, I mean, these companies are the ones that rallied and ran, you know, ran the, the S&P all the way up to backtest this huge trend line yesterday. And I don't know if they're going to get all the way back up there today. I think they will. Um, but yeah, we had this huge two-day rally uh, we broke across the bear line, two-day rally up here, back-tested. This is the 2008 financial crisis bull market trend line, and we just ran up and back-tested this. So this is a huge, huge, uh, a huge setup for a massive down move uh, very soon. In like the next three or four trading days, it should reverse and drop hard. Um, so... I'm thinking that instead of shorting like a tech ETF or shorting Tesla or something like that, you go into the tech ETF and you find the companies that look the best and they have the cheapest put options um, and they're going to get dragged down, right down with everything else. Um, just the thought, this is not investing advice. And if you could click the like button and maybe subscribe, because uh, I love attention, that would be awesome. Happy trading.